everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is 4.30 on Monday, so I'm starting the vlog this week really late because to be honest, we haven't really done much today. Um, for about five hours today on and off, I was editing the vlog that I uploaded last week um, because Ellie did a really good nap in her bassinet today for like probably just under four hours if I had to guess. We don't track them, but I'm guessing it's about just under four hours. Um, we are just on the way to Costco now to get some dinner and then we're gonna go and pick up the boys. Um, but yeah, start of a new week, start of a new vlog. What do you have for dinner, Mason? Can you tell me what they are? Pizza hot dog. Pizza hot dog. Yeah. <coughs> Teddy. Cheese. Cheese. You eating more? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. No. No? Pizza. Good morning. It's Tuesday now. Um, I didn't film much at all yesterday because I pretty much spent the entire day editing. Um, I think I spent like five hours editing from like 10 till three um, because Ellie was napping pretty much that entire time. I think she woke up, I think she woke up around two o'clock and then I fed her and then I was just holding her while I finished off the rest of the video. But I really wanted to get it done and uploaded yesterday, but the video, it's two hours long. It's two hours and 15 minutes long. So I had to edit that entire thing and then watch it through and now I have to export it and then upload it which is probably going to take another few hours but yeah I really wanted to get it posted yesterday on Monday because last week I posted on Monday but I think it's going to be better to just post it on Tuesday so I can spend Monday editing while Kane is at home and he can help me with Ellie if I need it and then yeah post it on Tuesday but anyway um I can't believe how long she slept in her bassinet yesterday like crazy it was pretty much her only nap of the day um she like when she woke up in the morning took the boys to daycare came home she was awake for like another hour or two and then yeah she just slept in her bassinet for like the entire like like lunch period um so that was pretty crazy last night she was up every hour <laughs> um so i guess that's the sacrifice i have to make if she's gonna nap for a long time during the day I probably should have woken her up but I think we were just enjoying the peace and quiet and like being able to do whatever we wanted for a bit um but yeah she like went to bed around eight o'clock and then we went to bed at 10 30 it was 10 20 the last time I checked the time and then my four-year-old Mason woke up crying because he had a blocked nose at half 12 which woke her up because we've got like a baby monitor in our room with his camera and I think either she was either going to wake up every hour anyway or maybe that just like disrupted her sleep and made her wake up every hour so it was kind of frustrating but you know what can you do I'm just going to try and have a nap at some point today but I'm just editing I'm not editing sorry I'm exporting my video because I couldn't do it last night my storage on the computer was full for some reason so I had to dig out like an old hard drive and I'm just going to use that hard drive as like my YouTube hard drive now um I don't have anything planned for today Kane has actually taken my car to work because his car has no fuel in it um so he'll get fuel tomorrow but even if I wanted to go anywhere, I can't because he's got my car with all the car seats in it. So that's fine. Um, oh, he's got like all my my wallet and stuff. <laughs> I don't need it, but hopefully he he probably didn't. Hopefully he covered it up in the back seat, but yeah, he probably didn't. Hopefully he doesn't get broken into. I might tell him to go out soon and just cover it up so my car doesn't get broken into. Anyway, yeah, Ellie's sleeping. It's nearly nine o'clock, so I'm just waiting for her to wake up. I really have to pump. My boobs are so sore and rock solid because when she wakes up in the middle of the night, um, she 
only eats for like five or ten minutes and my boobs are already like so hard because i haven't fed her since like 7 30 and then she's waking up at half 12 so it's like five hours yeah five hours she eats for like five minutes so i'm not emptying fully in the middle of the night and i know i should be pumping in that but i don't have to be pumping because eventually my supply will regulate when i hit like the 12 week mark my body will get used to like the longer stretch overnight but for right now i know i should probably be pumping in the middle of the night i'm just so tired like when she's asleep and she she goes to she transfers into her bassinet so easily so i literally just put her in a bassinet and i go to sleep myself but yeah i should be pumping because now it's nine o'clock she hasn't ate since six i don't know when she's gonna wake up but i am literally i'm so engorged and I just have to wait for her to wake up. I don't want to pump now in case she wakes up in like 10 minutes after and then there's no milk. Um, so I'm just going to wait until she feeds and then I'm going to pump afterwards. But yeah, I'm pretty much just waiting for her to wake up now. I need to do some laundry today. I have a full basket of clothes. I don't know how it happened. It's happened in like two or three days. I, I know I should be doing my laundry a bit more often because I've got so many kids. But the basket's full. I need to get the dirty clothes from our room when she wakes up and then I'll do a load of laundry. I've also got a basket of laundry to put away. I've emptied the dishwasher already. And other than that, I'm not doing anything today. I'm feeding her and when she's sleeping, I'm gonna like lie down and also sleep or just lie down and be lazy because <laughs> I can't be bothered. Yeah, also last night we went to Costco like yesterday afternoon when when I was talking about it. We went to Costco. Our membership is actually expired. It expired on the 30th of June. So it's only like just over a week expired. But we were only going to the food court. We weren't like shopping. And they don't check your expiry when you walk in. You just show them your card. Um, so we like really quickly flashed it at the, at the guy at the front, went to the food court and then you don't need to scan your card like to get food. So we got the food and left and then I was like, oh no, what if we get stuck in the car park? Because I'm not, I don't remember if you have to put your like car license plate number on your membership form. Like when you sign up, I really don't remember or if it's just completely separately and it doesn't matter. But I was worried that maybe my car license plate number is connected to my membership. Oh, hang on, I'm getting a call from the hospital. I'm not really sure what I was talking about before, um, but I just got a call from the women's health physio at the hospital I had Ellie at um, because I called them on Monday, left like a message and basically told them, I think I might have a prolapse. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I have sort of felt like something is there, like something might be falling out of me. And this is my first vaginal birth with Mason and Teddy. I had C-sections um, <clears throat> and I will, I will film a birth story and post it hopefully this month. But anyway, I had two C-sections before I had Ellie and she was a vaginal birth. And because it was my first birth um, where I pushed her out of me, part of me is thinking like, is this normal for a vaginal birth or is this something I need to be worried about and get checked out? So I've just had like a phone assessment with them, just sort of talking about my symptoms and stuff like that. And they are gonna try and get me an appointment like in the next couple of weeks or something like that. They said they're really busy. So they're just gonna book me in with like the next um, available women's health physio. But she told me like in the meantime, try not to lift your toddlers and also try and have a lot of horizontal rest. And I was just on the phone like, okay, yeah, no problem. Thinking like, that's not gonna happen. Like, especially Teddy, like he wants me to pick him up all the time. But she just said to try and get them to like, let me sit down first and then they can come up for a cuddle. And then, yeah, she said, if I can't get like a lot of horizontal rest, at least, once in the middle of the day try and like lie down for half an hour because <clears throat> that will help a lot apparently like it's one of the best things to try and help a prolapse and also like just making sure my bladder and my bowels are emptying without straining um so yeah that's my little 
six weeks postpartum update. She's six weeks today, which is crazy. I can't believe how fast that's gone. It really feels like I'm in the first two weeks still. Time is just going so fast. And yeah, I mean, she's six weeks old now. It's crazy. She's like almost out of her newborn clothes. I'm pretty sure like she's getting to the point where they're fitting really well. So we've probably only got like a couple weeks left and I really need to get her some clothes in the next size up because I said this in my last vlog, but we don't have a lot of clothes for her in the next size up, but yeah. I also need to book in with my GP and get my six week checkup done. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be much different to the ones I had with Mason and Teddy because they were C-sections and they, they didn't really do anything. They didn't check my, I think, no, they did check my scar, but they didn't really check anything else. So I don't know if they're gonna check like my tears or anything like that but I did mention to the women's health health physio that I'm still bleeding um, it's not active bleeding and it's not a lot it's pretty much just when I go to the bathroom and I wipe and sometimes it's pink sometimes it's brown um, I have some days where there's nothing and she said just to keep an eye on it because it could be retained placenta I don't think it is because I know that if I did have retained placenta I probably would have passed like some big clots and I haven't and also I would be struggling with my milk supply and I'm not and I, I'm pretty sure they gave me an ultrasound when I when I went back it, I either went to the hospital that I gave birth at or I went to a different hospital and I'm pretty sure they did check me for retained placenta and it was all good like it was all clear um so I'm not concerned I think I'm just bleeding because it's like my first birth but um I'll definitely keep an eye on it. She said by six weeks it should be well and truly finished, but I don't know if that's really the case. But yeah, Ellie woke up when I was like halfway through the phone call and she was like screaming down the phone and I was like, I'm so sorry, like just give me a second so I can start feeding her. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna have to pump after this because she like ate so much off my right and it was really sore and it's fine now and now she's on the left. Ah. <sighs> yeah once she goes back to sleep in like an hour or so like 45 minutes i'm also gonna just lie down on the couch and try and have a sleep as well i need to eat something at some point <laughs> but it's it's just another one of those things that's easier said than done i might put some like bacon in the oven and then cook some scrambled eggs on the stove or something just really quick but that's my morning so far i got a text message hopefully that's from the hospital fun times there are so many things that they really don't tell you like when you have a baby like <laughs> like I know that it was possible because I've had three kids and I'm also a trained doula but before I had Mason I would have never thought that I could like have a prolapse from giving birth I just wouldn't have ever thought that but yeah hello um Ellie did end up having a pretty good nap so that's awesome. I'm, where should I put you? <laughs> I'm just about to get myself some water. Whoa. So when I was on the phone to the women's health physio, we were sort of talking about like my bladder and stuff like that. And she's like, are you drinking enough water? And I was like, yeah, I think so. Like I'm thirsty all the time. She said, are you drinking the recommended like two and a half to three liters a day? And I was like, well, it's probably not that much. It's probably closer to like, a liter and a half she kind of told me off <laughs> she said like you really need to be aiming for like two and a half three liters especially if you're breastfeeding so that's true <laughs> i'm going to kim has got this big water bottle oh. this one which he doesn't use this is it's a two liter bottle although it's probably closer to like 2.2 at the top Oh yeah, it says 2.2. So I'm gonna fill this up with water and ice and try and finish this. Oh, I have had a bit of water today already, so I'm gonna try and drink like half of it, but it's hard. Okay, it's clean. Because I don't like the taste of our tap water, so I drink bottled water, like from the shop. And it's something I wanna buy. Like I wanna buy a water filter very soon, like an on tap water filter system because we live in a rental we can't get like complete home filtration systems so i want to get like an on tap filter 
soon. I know which one I want to get, it's just a matter of like having the money for it and ordering it, but yeah. I'm gonna fill this up and try and finish it by like tomorrow morning. Hello, it's three o'clock now. I've just put Ellie down for another nap. Um, it's really dark in here because I was trying to nap earlier as well. Um, she went down for a nap. I think it was just before one o'clock and then she woke up at two. Um, and now it's, yeah, just after three. Um, and I've just put her in her best on it. She's done a really good job of like getting herself to sleep without crying. Like she's not crying at all when I put her in the bassinet and if she does cry, I go in and I give her a dummy or I rock her or I try and feed her to sleep. Um, but yeah, she had just like, was about to fall asleep on my chest. I was just holding her after I fed her. Um, and I was like, okay, I'll put her back in her bassinet because I really, really want to try and have a nap myself. I was literally like, falling asleep at two o'clock when she woke up and I thought oh it's been like just over an hour it's probably not worth trying to get her back to sleep so I'll just get her up and feed her and then yeah I'm gonna lie down I'm gonna eat I've got some lactation cookies because I feel like a little sweet treat that's my ice machine but yeah I feel like a little sweet treat um before going to bed I had leftover Costco pizza for my lunch at like 10 30 um Plus I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm getting a call, but I don't know who it is, so I'm not answering it. Um, but yeah, Ken actually took my car to work today. I don't know if I mentioned already, but he needs to get fuel and he's gonna get it tomorrow. Um, so he's just taking my car so he doesn't have to get fuel today. Um, and he said he's gonna pick up the boys on his way home from work instead of like coming home and then going back out with me and Ellie. So that's cool. That, that just makes the evening a little bit easier because I can get dinner ready before they get home. Um, so we've got like a little bit of frozen nuggets left in the freezer. So I'm probably gonna put those in the oven for them at like five o'clock and then they should be ready by the time they get home. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my cookies and then try and have a nap because I'm so tired. These last two nights have like really taken it out of me with her like waking up pretty much every hour, hour and a half. Like I'm lucky to get two hours after her long stretch. But then also I'm not like sleeping. Like last night I was finishing off editing my vlog. So I couldn't go to sleep. And by the time I was finished editing and like we watched through about an hour of it and then I was like, I've, I'm too tired. Like I'm falling asleep. We went to bed. Um, and then Mason woke her up at half 12. So we only got about two hours of sleep in bed, or I got two hours of sleep in bed. No, Kane, Kane woke up, because he deals with Mason and Teddy if they wake up in the middle of the night. And then I just deal with Ellie. So we both got up at half 12. He obviously went straight back to sleep and then Ellie woke up. So I was up with her for a bit. And then yeah, she was up at like, I don't even remember, but I remember seeing every single hour on the clock. <laughs> And then the night before that, I did sleep on the couch on Sunday night. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep on the couch for a little bit. And then we just went to bed after that. But yeah, I'm just so tired. I like really need to get a nap. Even if it's like half an hour or an hour. That's like the only thing that makes me feel not tired is having a nap. <laughs> like having a coffee doesn't help. Or having more sleep overnight doesn't help. Even going back to sleep in the morning. Like, um... If, even if she did go back to sleep in the morning, I'm too wired after like daycare drop off or it's like the weekend and I feel selfish. If I go back to sleep, like if Kane's awake with the boys and I go back to sleep with Ellie, I just feel selfish, like I should be awake helping. Sorry, the glare in my glasses is probably really bad. Um, anyway, I literally don't even know what I'm saying because I'm so tired, but yeah, I'm gonna try and have a nap because I'm literally so tired i'm so tired i keep saying it but i'm so tired it's just after five o'clock now it's 10 past five ken is on the way home from work he's gonna pick up the kids on his way home which is awesome because it's just oh my god the ice machine it scared me um it's just gonna make the evening run a little bit smoother but i'm gonna pop oh goodness me i'm gonna pop please don't vomit on me <laughs> again um some dinner on the kids I'm gonna make just some chicken nuggets because we've got some 
in the freezer, like not too many left. And I'm gonna order some groceries tomorrow and I'm gonna restock on the chicken nuggets. Or I might not actually. I might wait and see until, I might wait until we go to Costco and see if they've got like a big bag of chicken nuggets. Um, I actually never buy chicken nuggets for at home. Like we pretty, if we want them, we just like go to McDonald's or something like that. But it was $10 for a kilogram of chicken nuggets. So I was like, why not? Like I'll just grab them because they're always asking me for them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna like, pop those in the oven. So it's just the Inghams. Um, I, I bought the tempura ones because I don't like the crumbed ones, like the ones that are like, yeah, they're crumbed. I don't like them. And I thought these are closer to um, like takeout nuggets anyway. So I'm just gonna pop these in the oven. It says it takes 16 to 18 minutes. Turning once, but hopefully I don't have to turn it because I'm Ellie's awake. And then I'll probably get some, we've got some like kiwi fruit that I'll cut up for them and maybe some cheese as well. She just woke up half an hour ago. Um, so she'll be going back down to bed in another half an hour for her um, last nap of the day. This is actually like perfect. I would love it if she woke up around five every day, had her hour wake up five till six, slept from like six until 7.30 and then have her in bed like for the night by like 8.30, 9 o'clock. I would love that. <sighs> I'm so tired. I did manage to have oops, like maybe like 45 minutes of sleep. I remember looking at the time and it was close to four o'clock and then she woke up at 4.45. So I'm pretty sure I had about 45 minutes sleep, maybe closer to 30 minutes. Okay, I'm just cooking all of them because there's not that many left. Mason loves chicken nuggets. I think it's like easily his favorite food ever. <laughs> um, like he loves chicken nuggets, he loves mac and cheese. And you know what, a couple years ago, we struggled so much with his eating. Like he literally would not even touch a chicken nugget. He wouldn't eat mac and cheese. Like he pretty much, lived on um ugh. god what, what was i saying yeah we struggled so much with his eating and he, yeah he wouldn't even touch nuggets he wouldn't eat mac and cheese he wouldn't eat like plain pasta he would not touch anything i need to wash my hands but i'm holding ellie i'm just gonna pop her down for a second yeah, I remember saying like, I don't know, to my friends or to, so I, I would say, I said it to someone, like he wouldn't even eat the foods that you would expect toddlers to love. We, we just had such issues with his eating. He used to eat everything until he turned like 13 months. Um, like he would try everything, baby led weaning, and then he turned 13 months and then he just like refused to try new foods. So he just pretty much lived on like yogurt, um, migraine noodles, wheat eggs, cereal, like Nutrigrain. He wouldn't eat any meat. He wouldn't eat any vegetables, barely any fruit. I think he would eat strawberries and blueberries, um, but like that's it. And then slowly over time, I'd say probably once he hit like three, three and a half, he started to eat a lot more. We moved here um, a few months after his third birthday. So we moved here in April, 2023. So he was like two, three years and four months. February, March, April. Two year, three years and three months. And I think since moving here, he's definitely got a little more open with eating foods, but he's still like quite particular with what he eats. Like he, he won't, for the most part, try new things. Um, but he does do occupational therapy and she did mention at our last session, we're gonna be working on meal times moving forward, which is gonna be, she said it can be really messy, but it's also really fun. 
for them so i'm really looking forward to that and hopefully he enjoys himself and hopefully he starts to just be a bit more adventurous not even adventurous i would just like him to eat like more proper meals because like at daycare i know he eats quite a lot and then for school i pack the same thing for him every day in his school lunchbox but in terms of meals he eats at home it's more like yeah it's still just like he wants yogurt for breakfast and he rarely strays from that for lunch he wants you know mac and cheese pasta he asks for those things and then for dinner it's the same sometimes he just asks for yogurt for dinner and i say yes because i'd rather him have the yogurt and have something in his stomach instead of like refusing his dinner and then going to bed hungry like i'm never gonna send them to bed hungry i don't care how late it is i don't care if they you know if they refuse their dinner if they are still hungry when they go to bed i'm gonna give them something to eat and it's so hard like i never expected to be raising a child who is autistic and he hasn't been diagnosed yet but all of the specialists we've spoke to pretty much agree that he is autistic never expected that when i was pregnant with him um and it's been like a really eye-opening experience but yeah like it goes beyond the realm of like being a picky eater if you've got an autistic child or if you've got a child with adhd you know it's a lot more different to a child that's just picky so yeah Anyway, that was like such a tangent. I don't even know what I was really talking about originally. <laughs> but nuggets are in the oven. Kids will be home soon. We have sausages for dinner. Um, and we're just going to hang out until Dada gets home. Hey. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is 8.30. I've had a shower this morning. Oh my God. And I've also just quickly made myself a huge cup of coffee <laughs> not because i feel like i need it but because for the last couple of days i've been finishing my coffee and being like wow i wish i had more coffee <laughs> but i don't want to make myself a second cup um just emptying the dishwasher ellie is sleeping um i'm so glad i had a shower because you never know when or if you're gonna have time to do anything when you have a newborn so for the most part, I pretty much just assume that I'm not going to be able to get anything done and I'm not even going to be able to do anything for myself, especially because she's in our room and I'm so paranoid of waking her up because she's so difficult. She's not difficult to get back down, but once she's up, she's up. Like, she doesn't really want to go back to sleep. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just assume that I can't do anything and I don't really care because at the end of the day, literally at the end of the day, I can wait for Kid to get home do it when he's at home or he can do it or it can probably wait for the weekend but I mean I've always got a list of stuff that I would like to get done um but yeah if it doesn't get done whatever um but yeah I'm quickly emptying the dishwasher this is something that I always really would like to get done because if the dishwasher is empty then I can keep the kitchen tidy for the most of the day like if i'm making myself food i can always clean up as i go instead of having to wait until like night time when i empty it again or whatever but yeah everything else like putting laundry away i don't care if i don't get it done because she's a baby she actually slept really good yesterday she like i don't know if i was like consciously doing it but i feel like i was following like wake windows quite good wake windows like i've come to realize are a little bit of a scam because they work for some babies they don't work for others um and i don't think they really work for ellie but yeah i was like trying to follow them or i think i was like subconsciously following them and she was going to bed like every hour but then she was only sleeping for about an hour and also for pretty much every nap she put herself to sleep like she was always very drowsy by the time i was gonna put her in bed but 
she like yeah she put herself to sleep for every nap pretty much um and then six o'clock came around was it six o'clock i don't remember oh yeah i put her down for a nap at six i'm pretty sure yeah it was when kane got home so i was bathing the boys um he was putting her down for a nap and i think it was around six maybe just after six but she wasn't having it but to be fair she is always quite like fussy and kind of refuses to go to sleep on the night times but then once she does go to sleep most of the time she ends up doing a long stretch i'm just making sure there's no more dishes yeah she ends up doing a long stretch most of the time she didn't last night well she technically did but not when I thought she was going to dishwasher's done but usually once she's down for the night at like 7 or 8 it's usually between 7 and 8 she will then do a bit of a long stretch she'll go to like 1 o'clock usually is when she wakes up but last night she wasn't going to sleep so I ended up feeding her just before dinner. So I fed her, then we had dinner, and then we had to go in and give her a dummy like two or three times. And then I think it got to about eight. And I was like, right, she's not going to sleep. I'll feed her, like brought her out into the lounge room, which I usually don't do. I usually keep the feeds in the bedroom so that she knows it's bedtime. Um, but I brought her out to the lounge room and she was like so awake and I think she got to the point where she was overtired. Kane said, like, she, I think she's overtired. And I was like, yeah, she probably is. Um, so I was feeding her. She was getting frustrated because if you don't know, on a night time, your breast milk supply is like naturally a little bit lower than it is during the day. Um, so she was eating, getting frustrated because I don't think there was much milk left. Um, and then Kane was trying to cuddle her which worked she didn't fall asleep but she got very drowsy so he put her in a bassinet but she cried like two minutes later like pretty much as soon as he got back to the couch she cried so i just went in there and i just cuddled her in bed i didn't feed her i was just cuddling her and waiting for her to fall asleep she was falling asleep but then waking back up and then falling asleep waking up so i think she was definitely overtired i just put her down when she was really drowsy and she ended up sleeping so i think it was like 9 30 and then she did sleep until two. Yeah, it was two o'clock. Mason woke up at half 12 because he needed to go to the toilet, which is fine. But, oh my God, it's so tiring when like all three of your kids are waking you up in the middle of the night. Teddy actually slept all the way through last night, which is nice. Um, he doesn't like wake up for something. He usually wakes up, cries for literally, like he lets out one cry and then he's back to sleep. I think he might be just crying in his sleep. Um, but it wakes me up. And then it takes me like five, 10 minutes to get back to sleep. And yeah, Mason was up at half 12. Ellie was up at two. And then she woke up at 4.30, but I gave her a dummy because I was like, it's literally been like less than two hours since she went back to sleep. And then she ended up waking back up at like 5.10. So she didn't sleep for very long. And then I fed her, put her back to sleep and she's been sleeping since then. So probably for just over three hours now. Hopefully she sleeps for a little bit longer, maybe like another 45 minutes or so, so I can like have my coffee and sit down for a bit. But yeah. Oh my God, I thought I heard her cry, but it wasn't. Another thing that I want to mention is um, Teddy, he's been like ripping his hair out at the back and I've only just recently noticed in the last week or two how big, he's got this bald patch at the back of his head. I'll try and take a picture and I'll put it here but he like he's always touched the back of his head like this ever since he was a baby when he was six months when he was seven months old we got really concerned because i was like what if it's a tumor like what if there's something in his head and it's like hurting his brain or hurting his skull so we took him to an emergency and they dismissed us they were like it's probably an ear infection checked him it wasn't an ear infection um and then they also took like a urine sample but they wouldn't do any scans on his head which is what I really wanted and they just wouldn't they sent us on our way and I was really frustrated about that um 
so I was just kind of like whatever like it's probably nothing and then I think when he was about one he stopped doing it for maybe four six months four to six months um but then he started up again and it's not it doesn't seem like he's in pain like he's not grabbing the back of his head and saying ow he just touches the back of his head like this or he'll like scratch the back of his head a little bit when he was a baby he was like putting his hand on his head and then like scratching at it um and then recently probably over the last two months i've noticed he's like ripping his hair out and he doesn't say ow like he's ripping it out and he's not crying or anything so he's not in pain or if he is in pain he's not upset by it and i asked one of his educators at daycare i was like did you notice that he pulls his hair out and she's like no but now that you mention it we saw him with a clump of hair in his hand yesterday this was like two weeks ago and i was like yeah like i've only just noticed he's like ripping his hair out and i mentioned it this morning again because he ripped a bit of his hair out this morning when he was upset and she's like maybe he likes it because he likes rough play but do you want to bring it up to the child health nurse because they get the child health nurse at the daycare once a month and it's usually on like a thursday and they don't go to daycare on a thursday but this month it's a friday so and they go to daycare on fridays so i'm gonna i booked him in to see her on the friday and she's also going to do his like two-year-old assessment um because we actually don't see the child health nurse like regularly i haven't seen teddy's one since he was six weeks and mason hasn't seen one since he was four months just because i find them quite judgy especially the older ones like the elderly ones <laughs> i shouldn't say elderly but the older ones that are like in their 50s 60s 70s they are very judgy and they're like you need to be doing this because he's not gaining weight or he's not gaining weight fast enough and he's not eating and he's not speaking blah 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 and i just got sick of it so i was like no i'm not doing that so with ellie she hasn't seen one because if i had concerns i would go to the jp and i know there are other practitioners i can go to like chiropractors homeopaths naturopaths that sort of thing anyway long rant i'm talking really fast as well so hopefully and you can you can keep up but yeah he's seeing the child health nurse at the end of the month i'm gonna bring up his habit of pulling his hair and like grabbing the back of his head but i've also got him on the wait list um with the child development service i don't know if they have it in other states in australia but it's like a publicly government funded program for kids um they've got like physio speech pathologist audiologist um nurses um pediatricians that sort of thing like the whole shebang so mason actually had an audiology appointment last month i believe yeah i think ellie was like two weeks old when when we went two or three weeks old so we had the appointment his hearing is perfect she said he's got like really really good hearing even really really quiet hearing he can hear really well but we brought teddy up and we were like you know he's really speech delayed he doesn't have many words for his age he's not really talking in sentences yet um and also we're worried like his hearing isn't that good because he always gets really bad fluid build up in his ears when he gets sick so i've been talking for so long so i'll be quick with this but she ended up emailing me a referral form so i've referred him it's like a six month wait list um so that was a month ago roughly so hopefully we've only got about five months left um i haven't heard back to see if they've got the referral so i might have to call and ask just to double check i haven't received any letters or texts or anything either um but she said mason will have a follow-up appointment in six months the waitlist is about five months so she said she'll bring the appointment for mason forward a bit so that we can do it on the same day so teddy will have a hearing test mason will have a follow-up hearing test on the same day which will be great but in the meantime i also need to go to a gp and do an ent referral because of the fluid buildup in his ears because he might need grommets or something like that so i need to book in my six week postpartum checkup with my gp so I might try and book him an appointment on the same day so that I can just knock it out in one day. Um, I might do it on a Thursday or something when, like if my mum can come over, because they're not at daycare, and then my mum can come over, watch Mason while I take Teddy to the GP, have my GP appointment, 
and then that's all done. There's just so much I need to do and I always forget about it until I'm reminded about it. I really need to have like a to-do list on the fridge so that I see it all the time. Oh, anyway, yeah, I've been talking for like 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna drink my coffee and wait for Ellie to wake up pretty much. <laughs> Hi, it's 20 past 11 now. <clears throat> so it's a few hours later. Ellie woke up at half nine, which is awesome. She actually slept for the 45 minutes that I wanted her to. I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just sitting down and trying to do our food shop. Um, I wanna get it delivered tonight. Also, I look like an egg. Oh, I just put her down and she was sleeping after I fed her. Uh, hopefully she actually sleeps so I can try and get this food shop done. I I'm literally struggling so hard to pick what to order. Originally, I was just gonna do a shop which has got like snacks, um, fruit, etc., just to last us until we go to Costco on Monday because when we go to Costco, we are gonna be spending like a lot of money. <laughs> um, I wasn't gonna bother getting anything for dinner, but we've only got chicken thigh in the freezer and I really don't want chicken thigh. Like I'm sick of it, I'm sick of eating chicken. Um, so I wanted to get a couple pieces, like a couple meat things for dinner, but it's so hard to decide what to get. <sighs> so hard but I think what I'm gonna do where is it right so I've got rump steak I've got beef burgers I've got a lamb roast which I will actually cook on time and I've got pork chops so that's one two three four that's four dinners so we need We've got something out for tonight already. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think that will do. It's $213.65 in my cart. I budgeted 200, but I think I'm just gonna order it. Like, yeah, whatever. I don't really care. It's like $13 over budget. It's, I really don't care. <laughs> but yeah, we need to start eating at home because we're literally like just eating takeout constantly. And obviously it's expensive and it's not good for us. But I feel like because, uh, one second. I just went in and gave her a dummy. She was asleep, I fed her to sleep, which I didn't do yesterday because she was just putting herself to sleep yesterday. Like no crying, just had a dummy, went herself to sleep. Um, yeah, I just went in and gave her a dummy. But what I was saying is, it's so much it's so convenient to just get takeout for dinner but it's so expensive like considering we're spending money on groceries and then we're also getting takeout for dinner like we're spending too much money on food and food is going to waste um but yeah i'm gonna order these groceries and we're gonna we're gonna have to stick to the meal plan <laughs> But yeah, on Monday we're going to Costco and we're also possibly going to the butcher to stock up on steak and lamb because um, they have really cheap red meat at the butcher. Um, and then at Costco, we're going to go to Costco first and we're going to look at the prices of the meat that they have. Um, I might get like a big beef mince and like portion it up in the freezer for like spaghetti and making... Um, like meatball probably not meatballs but making beef burgers um and then like so i'm trying to like shop and talk at the same time but i can't do that um possibly chicken thigh i don't know because like i said i've kind of gone off chicken and then i'll look at the lamb they i know they've got they used to have sides of lamb so like a quarter side of a lamb which has got like roasts and chops and stuff in it um but i think it's about 11 dollars a kilo at costco when we bought it and i know at the butcher they have it for like nine dollars a kilo um so we're just gonna see what we can get at costco first and then probably go to the butcher afterwards to get some meat because yeah meat at Woolworths is just so expensive you really have to like shop around and find somewhere local that has it cheaper because like for example I know that the beet the rump steak it was $20 a kilo and that's like market value so it's not like 
great rump steak but I think at our butcher it's like $14 a kilo so it really really pays to shop around and I know it's budget as well I think they have it for $9.99 a kilo so like literally half the price but the convenience of like grocery delivery sometimes trumps saving like $10, $15 here and there but anyway I'm gonna order these groceries and then I'm gonna make myself some toasties for lunch um, and then hopefully Ellie has a bit of a nap and then I also really need to get our laundry put away because again just like last week I've been washing the laundry but I have not been putting it away because she sleeps in our room so it's just difficult to like get the laundry put away but yeah that's my plan for right now Ellie is sleeping in her bassinet. Finally, oh my God. I went in there at quarter past one and I was just lying in bed with my shirt off, um, just cuddling her until she fell asleep. It took half an hour. She was fighting the sleep so bad. Um, and then I transferred her into the bassinet and our groceries have just been delivered. So I'm gonna quickly unpack them. I'm gonna do a grocery haul, which I'm gonna upload separately. Um, just because I think people enjoy watching grocery hauls and I want to put that up separately so more people can see it. Um, and then I'm just going to sit on the couch <laughs> and wait until she's going to wake up again because I have a feeling she is not going to sleep for very long at all. <laughs> Yeah, it's four o'clock. Ellie's been up for like an hour and a half. <laughs> so normally I would try and just put her to sleep, but I'm actually gonna go pick the boys up in about half an hour from daycare. I'm just gonna quickly give her a bath because she hasn't had one in like a couple of days, maybe a bit longer than a couple of days. <laughs> um, but she's not wanting to sleep and I'm not gonna try. I'll just wait until later. Probably when I get home, I'll put her in the carrier and hope that she just does a little nap. But she's getting a bit upset and fussy, so I thought, you know, I'll give her a bath for the next, you know, 15 minutes. Well, her bath will probably be like five minutes, but then we'll just hang out until I have to leave to go and get the boys. But I don't know what's going on today. I have a feeling she's entering the, like, 45-minute nap era. This is so common with babies, and it's happened with all of mine so far, like... They sleep really good. They do really good naps during the day for like six weeks, two months. They'll sleep for like two or three hours during the day, but then they are also sleeping for like three or four hours overnight. And then something switches and then they just start napping for 45 minutes during the day. Like it's very, very rare to get a longer nap than 45 minutes during the day, but they do start sleeping a bit longer overnight. So. Maybe that's what's happening because she's been sleeping longer stretches overnight recently. So she's just, yeah, having longer awake periods maybe and then shorter naps. But I just wasn't ready for it. I'm never ready for it with Teddy. Like, I knew it was coming. But when it started, I was like, great. So I feel like I've spent a lot of today frustrated about her not sleeping. But I'm just going to get over it because if that's what's happening, then that's what's happening. And there's nothing really I can do. But... Yeah, I'm gonna give her a quick bath. Bath time is finished now. She's all dressed. It's like the first time she's not wearing something pink or brown. Um, this is actually something I bought when Mason was a baby. No, when Teddy was a baby. Yeah, I put some breast milk in her bath as well, just because I had it in the fridge and it was 
going to go off. It's like the first time I've ever given any of my kids a milk bath. I never did with Mason and I'm pretty sure I didn't um, with Teddy either, but it's half four now. So I'm actually gonna go and pick up the boys. I got myself changed into like more presentable clothes um, and I'm gonna put my wrap carrier on before we leave so that when we get there, I can just quickly put her in it and I don't have to put it on while I'm there. Um, yeah, I'll see you when I get home with the boys. I just got home. It's 10 past five now, so Kane's on his way home. I'm actually gonna start cooking dinner for everyone. So we're having steak and eggs and I'm gonna make mac and cheese for the boys. They're just outside playing at the moment. Ellie's in the wrath. She literally fell asleep like in the couple of minutes that she was in there when I was inside of daycare, which is crazy. Like I cannot imagine how tired she is considering she's not sleeping. So I'm hoping, hoping she has a bit more of a sleep while I cook, even while I eat. And then oh, she'll have her like last wake up um, in a few hours. Obviously, she like didn't sleep at all yesterday. For them, I think honestly, combined, she might have got like two, two and a half hours of sleep in like ten minute increments. Um, she like literally passed out at about seven, seven thirty when we were putting Mason to bed. Like literally, Kane was holding her and she was just like passed out. He couldn't wake her back up, so put her to bed. But she slept for like. 45 minutes I think, no, probably even less than that. So I went in again, fed her, put her back to sleep, probably about like 8.30 and she slept through until 5.30. Oh my God. I'm still tired, but I can't believe I slept through the night. Can't believe she slept through the night, can't believe I slept through the night, but I fed her, she went back to sleep. I just pumped so I got like 
just over 30 milliliters on my right which is which one I fed her on and then like 115 milliliters on my left that's crazy just gonna put it in this um but I'll probably freeze it later I just like to keep it in the fridge for a bit just in case she like wakes up in five minutes and want to feed and I'm like empty yeah that was 120 150 exactly full bottle pretty crazy the boys are like waking up now um mason and teddy it's 6 45 at the moment so i'm just gonna quickly tidy up a little bit and then i'm gonna get them out of bed and get them breakfast and get them ready for daycare I still can't believe she slept through the night. I woke up at half three, looked at the time, and was like, oh my god, it's half three. <laughs> like, she's probably gonna wake up soon. Went back to sleep, woke up at like 4.45, because I heard some banging. I thought it was like Mason, like, banging on his door, but it wasn't, he was asleep in bed. Um, and then Kim woke up as well, seeing like, he heard people running down the road. Um, and then yeah, went back to sleep, and then she woke up at, five i think it was like 5 40 when she woke up wow i can't believe it also my house is a little bit of a mess because last night i just went to sleep on the couch i was so exhausted after the day so i did get a good amount of sleep i don't remember what time i fell asleep on the couch it's probably like oh it was 10 o'clock and then i think kane woke me up just before 11 went to bed went straight to sleep and then yeah <sighs> eight o'clock now um <clears throat> i just got home from dropping the boys at daycare i don't know how i managed to get myself out of bed at 20 past six this morning and i'm still getting home from daycare at eight o'clock <laughs> like doesn't matter if i get up at 10 6 20 or 7 20 like a whole hour they still get to daycare at eight o'clock at least this morning wasn't rushed though like i feel like when i get out of bed at 7 20 ish the morning is so rushed and it just puts everyone in a bad mood to start the day which isn't good um so the slow morning was nice today but i've got all of this laundry to put away i've got three loads so this is two loads in here this is one load and then i've also got like our baby wipes our cloth wipes <clears throat> And then I've just put a load in the dryer that I washed last night because for some reason we're filling up like half a basket of laundry. Not this basket, like a big laundry hamper, at least half a basket a day. And if I'm not washing it, I'm going to have to do like three loads when it's full. So I did actually think to myself on the drive home, I'm not going to do it this morning. I'll do it later once this other load is done but if Ellie sleeps like she did yesterday which was like not at all I'm not gonna have time to do it and then that load's gonna be finished and I'm gonna have so much to put away so while she's hopefully doing like her last stretch of night sleep I'm gonna quickly get this done because yesterday she slept until 9 30 she's probably not gonna sleep that long today but I'm gonna put the telly on and I'm just gonna smash this out really quickly because like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to do it later today and it's really piling up and we're like running out of clothes and I don't wanna have to be like living out of the basket. So we'll get this done. I made myself a second cup of coffee because I felt like having another one. And that, this is my task for this morning.
camera died. Um, I got onto like the last basket of laundry and then Ellie woke up at like 8.30, it's 8.40 now. And she just fell asleep eating for like, she ate for like five minutes and fell asleep. So I might see if I can quickly put her back down. It has been three hours since she last ate. So I might see if I can try and put her back down because she's obviously still sleepy. I did like go in there with the intentions of giving her a dummy, but then I was like, oh, I'll just get her up and feed her because it's been three hours. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can put her back down and then quickly do the rest of the laundry. Okay, my camera's still dead. I haven't changed the battery yet, but I put Ellie down in her bassinet. She woke up as soon as her head like hit the mattress, but I gave her a dummy. She made that like whingy noise that babies make when they have a dummy in their mouth, but they're not quite crying like the. <laughs> Um, but I've got the laundry folded at least. Um, I just need to put it away. This is Teddy's clothes. This is mine, Kane's and Ellie's clothes. And then this is Mason's clothes. So I'm going to put the boys stuff away and then I'll put our stuff away like later when she wakes up or probably like tonight. We shall see. And I also did um, this earlier too. But I'm all done. That's pretty much all I wanted to get done today was the laundry and everything else can just wait yeah I'm so glad I got that done it's 10 35 now Ellie woke up just before 10 um so I don't remember what I last filmed but she woke up at like 8 30 fell asleep put her up to bed and yeah she woke up at just before 10 so that's cool I'm just making myself some breakfast I am so hungry right now I'm literally starving I'm just making some oatmeal because that's what I feel like eating. Oh, I'm like literally so hungry. I've had two cups of coffee today, which is very unlike me. I think, honestly, it's not the fact that I care about the caffeine content. I think it's more so I just can't be bothered making a second cup of coffee. <laughs> like I make my first one in the morning and then... If we go out, like if we've gone out, I'll probably get a coffee. Um, but I hardly ever make myself a second cup of coffee at home. I think it's because I had my first one before I even like left the house. And again, that's very unlike me. I hardly ever have my coffee before I take the kids to daycare. But yeah, I did today because I had time. I'm hoping that Ellie isn't like really difficult to get to sleep again today. Yesterday, it wasn't necessarily that she was like kind of difficult to put to sleep. Um, it's just that she was not sleeping. Like she would go to sleep, but then she would wake up after like 10 minutes. So yeah. Yeah, fingers crossed. I'm probably gonna put her down at like 11, so in about 20 minutes. Yeah, we're just hanging out. <laughs> she's so funny. She says she's not doing anything, but she's so funny. She smells so good today. And she's so big. She's massive. Oh, she's four and a half kilos now, so she's gained like a full kilo since she was born. She gained 700 grams in two weeks. So much. She's just a milk monster. Like <laughs> up until probably this week, every time she was awake, she was eating. Like she was eating the, the entire time she was awake. Now she has a little bit more of awake time where she just like hangs out. But yeah, she just <laughs> loves her milk. She's always eating. My bench is like a little bit dirty from dinner last night, but I've, this is it. It's just cinnamon brown sugar. And then I added some Nutella as well, just as a little treat. I don't usually add Nutella. I just felt like doing it today. So I'm gonna sit with Ellie and eat this. Hi, it is quarter to two now. I had to change into a different jumper because Ellie vomited on me just before I put her to bed. When did I even put her to bed? Oh my god about 11 so she's been sleeping for 
three hours almost three is that right that doesn't sound right <laughs> i'm gonna have to check my texts with ken to see if that's right um but anyway i've just been sitting on the couch um editing my grocery haul um so the the grocery order that i got yesterday um so that's uploading now um also i'm hoping to pop out once she wakes up Okay, it's just finished uploading i'm hoping to pop out once she wakes up to buy a nappy bag from marketplace um i've had my nappy bag from ebay since before mason was born and I've, I've loved it it's really good the only problem is that it's a backpack and i find that things just get lost and i don't think it's big enough for three kids especially if we're going out and about i don't i feel like i've talked about this already but I might not have. Um, yeah, it's a backpack. Have had it for years. Um, and like when we're going out with all three kids, I would need like a spare set of clothes for Mason, Teddy, and Ellie. Probably not Mason because he's toilet trained. It would it would it would only be if we went somewhere like where I know he was gonna get dirty. But I'd need yeah probably two sets of clothes for Ellie, one set of clothes for Teddy and then like maybe a pair of pants and a spare underwear for Mason plus nappies for Ellie and Teddy, snacks for everyone, water bottles, wipes, a wet bag and then like nappy cream yeah I just don't think my nappy bag is big enough so I was actually looking at the Oi Oi Carry All nappy bag the tan faux leather one i think it's called um and they have one on sale it's like a seconds quality so there's something wrong with it not something bad enough that they can't sell it but it's on sale for 146 i found one on marketplace for 50 dollars, but it doesn't come with all the accessories and it also doesn't come with like the long strap and i really want the long strap so i can wear it as like a crossbody bag and i don't have to just hold it but I actually saw one for $15. It's not the Oi Oi nappy bag, it's a Colette nappy bag. And back in the day, before I had kids, I actually used a Colette nappy bag as like my everyday bag because I loved how big it was. So yeah, it's on Marketplace for $15 and I asked if I can pick it up today and she said I can go and they're not that far away. We actually went to this same suburb to pick up the bassinet for Ellie, the cool sleeper bassinet that I showed in like my older vlog um so yeah i might wake ellie up in like half an hour or so feed her changer and then head out um so that i can get home in time to like prepare to get the boys from daycare at half four but yeah i'm really looking forward to it I, i've been wanting a new nappy bag for a while but i was like oh, i'll deal with the one that i've got but it's kind of falling apart like especially the insulated part of the front from like bottles from Mason and Teddy it's like all ripped apart I don't think the Colette one has like an insulated section for baby bottles but we're not bottle feeding this time around so it's not going to be a problem so that's the plan now <laughs> Happy Friday. I'm coming at you a bit late today. Um, it's 20 past one. I've just put Ellie down for a nap. We actually just got home from a home birth meetup that one of my doula friends hosts once a month. Um, I was like going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to go because I'm so tired and like, yeah, <laughs> just like the thought of going out and it's half an hour away, but I'm really glad I went. I am like a bit awkward because I was meeting a bunch of new people. I only knew like two people there. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I went and I'm gonna try and get there every month. But yeah, like it's just gonna be a bit difficult and I'd love to take the boys or like at least Mason as well because I think he would enjoy playing with the other kids as well. Just some like interaction with other children who aren't at daycare or at school. But yeah, we got home probably I think it was about 40 minutes ago. I've just been feeding her and I just rocked her to sleep like you saw in the clip before. She kind of like cracked it a little bit when we were there and she didn't want to feed. I think she was just a bit maybe like overstimulated, a bit overwhelmed just with all of the noise. Like there was a bunch of other babies 
and they were also crying. Um, yeah, she didn't want to eat when we were out, so I just changed her nappy, came home, and then fed her, and yeah, she slept, but she hasn't had like a proper good nap. She slept in the car for two minutes, and then we got to the person's house, and then she slept for maybe half an hour on me while we were there, and then I don't think she fell asleep in the car on the way home. So yeah, she's in her bassinet now. Hopefully she's gonna do a good sleep. I picked up some red rooster on my way home. So I'm gonna eat that now. I haven't ate anything yet today. I had a coffee this morning, um, but I didn't eat breakfast. So I'm really, really hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna, yeah, sit down and eat my lunch. Also, I didn't show you my nappy bag that I got from Marketplace yesterday because um, it was a bit hectic when I got home. Took it out today and it was really, really nice. I feel, much nicer about this bag than I did about my other backpack but yeah I'm gonna go eat my lunch quickly I just finished eating my lunch so I'll quickly show you my new nappy bag so it's a Colette nappy bag um I, think, I don't remember what they call it on the Colette website but this cost me $15 and it's actually in really good condition there are a few scratches but like for $15 I'm not gonna complain so it has like the normal like bag straps then it also has the long strap which is good because i like to carry my bags like over my shoulder like that and then it has like a little pocket at the back just here and then it also has two pockets is, is it two yeah there's two there's one of these like drink bottle pockets on each side which is going to be great for when i take the boys out <clears throat> at the front there's another zipper pocket just here and then there's two little like front bits <laughs> let me close it there's t these two little front pockets as well and then the inside this it's actually massive this is perfect considering i've got a lot of kids so this is the inside so it's got it's got two portions like not portions what, what should i what do you call it it's like two areas compartments i just have everything in one at the moment sorry you can't really actually say that well but and then there's like a partition in the middle and then there's also another zipper pocket right here and then on the inside there's pockets all over the is that insulated yeah there's an insulated pocket as well on the inside which would be great for like a baby bottle i've got a dirty nappy in here because i changed her when i was at the meet up and then there's also some more pockets right here so like right here i've got some nut bars in here i've got outfits for ellie and then i've just got this one empty but yeah and there's still heaps of room in here i've got my wallet i've got my moby carrier i've got a packet of wipes I've got a spare dummy for Ellie and then I have four nappies four? yeah I've got four nappies I put a water bottle in there but I'm actually gonna take that out because it's heavy um, and then I also have just like a, a terry towel in case she throws up while we're out but yeah like literally can fit so much in here which is awesome because I really wanted a big nappy bag and like there's nothing wrong at all with the backpack style i just found that you have to really like rummage through it which is really annoying because i don't want to have to like rummage to try and find something um i'm actually gonna order i, I was i want to order them on timu because they're cheaper on timu than they are on amazon but they're these like zipper mesh pouches they're like pencil cases but they're see-through so on timu they have like a 24 pack for like 15 dollars or something like that but on amazon it's 25 dollars and i don't want to pay more than i have to but the thing is on timu you have to do a minimum 40 dollars spend 40 dollars spend and i don't really want to order much else um but yeah i'm gonna order those pouches so that i can 
organize things a little bit better so i'm gonna have a pouch for spare outfits for ellie a pouch for nappies a pouch for clothes for teddy a pouch for snacks for the boys and then a pouch for snacks for me etc etc so on and so forth so that it's even less rummaging because i've just got everything organized into these little pouches but that's going to be something i do like maybe a month down the track but i'm really happy with the bag i can't believe it was only 15 dollars and it is pretty much exactly the same as the oi oi one that i wanted to buy in terms of like the color and the style but i've saved myself what like 135 dollars so I can't complain about that. Ellie did a really nice long nap in her bassinet, which is awesome. It's 20 past five now. She woke up at like 4.45, 4.50. So she slept for like three hours, which is amazing. But I'm just about to head out to get the boys. I was gonna wait until Kane got home to go and get them today, just cause my headache's been really bad. And oh, pardon you. When they're all screaming on a night time, it like brings my headache on really, really painfully. Um, but he's actually picking something up from Facebook Marketplace for me on his way home. <laughs> um, and did she vomit on me? No, there's vomit on her mouth, but she didn't get it on me. Um, but yeah, daycare closes at six, so I don't want to leave it too late just in case I get there too late. Good morning or good afternoon. Good afternoon, it's Saturday now. We've had a busy day. Um, this morning I took Mason to get his hair cut and then we went to the shops to get a few things just for their new beds and for the house but we're hoping to get rid of the old bed today. I thought someone was here but we've dismantled it. He is. Just take it on. No, oh, no it's just some guy walking past. <laughs> Someone was meant to come and pick up the bed earlier today. He said he'd be here between 10 and 11, but then he messaged me and said he's not actually getting a car until 11. And I was like, whatever, don't bother. I'll pass it on to someone else because we want to gone straight away. But the new bed just got delivered. The house is an absolute mess, but whatever. So Ken dismantled the bed in the boys' room just got the new one delivered here and then there's the mattresses just being quick in case my address is on it yeah probably gonna set that up a bit later today and hopefully someone can come and pick up their old bed we're just waiting for lunch to be delivered teddy is napping ellie's hanging out on the couch mason got some stickers at the shops that he's playing with but yeah busy saturday hopefully tomorrow isn't as busy <laughs> what do you guys think? You like it? Are you gonna start sharing? Okay. Mommy, look at me. I know. I can't. <laughs> Yeah. 